People want her posh moisturizer and her Chanel number no. five. For the ride home? Yeah, it'll just give her a boost. It's a, it's a woman thing. I've never had much luck with them. Oh, I changed her bed and I stuck some blooms in a vase. Well, that's very thoughtful of you and it'll save me having to go alone. Good. Let's face it, I've been missing an action for years. It's why you're here now. And my man is so much better for having you around. You know, she needs things in her diary, outings to look forward to. Agreed. And I'll join you as and when, but uh, my hours uh, working at the bistro are pretty inflexible. Ooh. Ask Nick for the time off. Not just his decision. I'd have to ask Debbie Webster and find her pretty intimidating. I wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of her myself. All me mam needs is a bit of company. You know, the older she gets, the luckier we are to still have her. Yeah. I just hope uh, my three feel the same way about me one day. Oh, Stephen, darling, it was so tidy at Grasmere Drive. You've kept it so well. Thank you. Pleasure. Why don't you install yourself on the sofa and I'll stick the kettle in. Oh, the tea in the hospital, honestly. Oh. Why don't we go down to the Rovers later? Ma'am. To celebrate my homecoming. Change of scenery will do her good. Yes, thank you. But it'll put her in temptation's way. And, and I've been taping lingo for you. Yes, we can watch that when we get back. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Outvoted, as per. Now stop frowning. It puts ears on you. Well, maybe I've got lots to frown about. And I shall be capping you at two G&Ts. Oh, will you now? Yes, I will. So don't make me make a scene. And your feet, Audrey. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Right. A large G and T, please. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Uh, an orange juice and a very large red wine for my minder. <laughs> and a pint for me. <laughs> and before you get aggravated. I had no intention of drinking. I know I've got to calm it down a bit. All right. Fine. Oh, hello, Elaine. Actually, can I thank you for your wonderful help in my hour of need? You might be seeing a lot more of me. I've just been to view a house. Oh. I'm moving. I want to find somewhere near Tim and Sally and Faye. Well, I keep telling you to do that. Rattling around in that big house. Yeah, it could free up a nice little lump sum. I think I might treat myself to a holiday. I've always dreamed of visiting the Italian lakes. Oh, well, Stephen's your man. He's had a home in Italy for years. Uh, uh, Milan, actually, but I've, I've traveled uh, a lot there. Oh, I might have to pick your brains. Your pleasure. <laughs> so it's about 100 kilometers to the first lake, Lake Garda. That's the biggest one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the biggest and, to my mind, the most beautiful. Oh, we should go. Yes, we should. And we will. Oh, oh there's a, a beautiful little town called Sirmione, which juts out like a long finger into the lake. It feels like an island. Oh, I think I've seen that on Gino's Italian Escapes. Gino? Yeah, he's one of the chefs on uh, this morning. Hmm. You could buy a guidebook. Oh, sorry. Am I monopolizing him? Oh, no, no, don't worry. I... Those were some of the happiest times of my life. I, um, I fell in love with the place. I think I would, too. This 